to put a piece of paper in a chemical and you watch this piece of paper come to life and you see people, uh, you know, it's a, a memory forever. This tells so much of Barrow's history and not just Barrow, the surrounding area. And all the black and whites that we have, the glass plates, 15,000, I would probably have processed quite a lot in my time there. If you live in Barrow, you're going to see those photographs in pubs, in the entrances to supermarkets, and you can see them all over Barrow. And I vaguely remember seeing the name sank at the bottom of it. It didn't really mean anything, you know, to me, until, of course, this project came up. Sankey, Favre and Son were two Barrow photographers from basically the turn of the century through to probably the 1970s. They ran a couple of shops. They also took a lot of pictures in the local area and printed off thousands and thousands of postcards. <laughs> So far we've run the postcard pilot project which was um, set up to try and explore um, ways in which we could use the Sankey collection to start engaging with people, start using the postcards to sort of understand the ways in which people might interact with the postcards. Um, so within that project we did um, tinting and toning, making them into colour. We um, mapped 100 postcards um, using maps of um, the UK and also maps of Europe um, to understand where the Sankey postcards were being sent to and from. We also worked with um, a number of volunteers who transcribed 100 of the messages on the back of the postcards. We were invited to run a enrichment day at St Bernard's School with green screen and um, a set of postcards as a group, they came up with different performances that they could um, superimpose themselves into the postcards. Um, so there's a brilliant one where um, an amazing photo of this old airship. And if you notice, there's a figure right on top of the airship. They've obviously noticed that as a group and they superimpose someone falling off the airship and being caught by Superman. So really simple, but just quite interesting ways of working um, with the postcards. We have been in year two and year five and thinking about the fact that the Sankey postcard was a photograph to begin with, so it was a moment in time. And um, we wanted the children to think about how moments can change. So if this photograph had been taken, say, 15 minutes later, this gentleman here might not have been standing on top. Almost every scene has changed, and this is a wonderful record, the change. Um, Sue, my colleague, she wanted them to look out of the window and get a moment of time from their school. So today, in year two, when they looked out, it was sunny, the sun was shining, you could see the trees and the playground where they play at lunchtime, and they, they got that moment. Unfortunately, in year five, when they looked out their window, there's a lot of building work going on at the moment. That captures a moment in their time, which is great because in six months' time, that will have changed and they will have their new front of their school. So they can tell the other school that they're writing to that this was their moment and this is what they've been looking at for the last seven weeks. We also revisited some of the sites that the Sankeys had photographed in the town centre of Barrow. A man called Mike Garforth approached us. He'd actually been around in the 1970s with a Sankey book and re and re-photographed places Sankey had photographed in the 1910s. What we did in one of the workshops was um, take Mike's photographs, take the original Sankey images, and go out of a camera with a group um, from the Postcard Project and look at how the places had changed um, between 1910, 1970, and then obviously 2018. Um, just seeing how places had changed. They've always stood out and I, I now know so much more why, why they are so good. Well, the first one is me standing outside of Sankey's when I was 20, and the second one was me in the processing room, and the lady behind me is Mrs Williamson, she's on the Kodak printing machine. She would print off the negatives, pass them over to me, and I would de be developing them in a chemical. I'm just finding such wonderful quality photography, as well as nice cards. It had to be sharp, spot on, out of focus, wasn't allowed. Always very formal, you called them by Mr Eric or Mr Raymond and I was Miss Raven and there were two other ladies that worked there, Mrs Cusack and Mrs Williamson and they showed me how we processed the films that came in every morning and would go out every evening in the post so it was a quick turnaround. Nice, uh, uh, two nice people to work for. 
yeah. A family, a real family business, yeah. At the end of our postcard project, we decided to hold a kind of afternoon where people could come and have a look at the exhibition. Um, and we had over 60 people who um, turned out and um, lots of people from Barrow, but I know that there's also people from further away as well who'd come to see um, what had been created. Um, and it just felt really exciting. And this was only a really tiny, tiny part of the wider project that we're hoping to deliver. If I could get a TARDIS, and come back in 200 years time, I'd love to be able to see the collection available and still relevant to, to people then. Well, I wonder how many of these postcards have really been sort of looked at. I mean, who knows what is in there actually? I mean, there's just so much there that can be followed up and it, it would be such a shame to lose that information. So thank you, thank you. We're gonna be able to glean a lot from the postcards and you know just the things that people get sparked up about when they start looking through the local history in the postcards. Oh yes, oh I was talking to somebody yesterday. Oh yes, I can remember that, I can remember that. Uh, it's jogging people's memories. These are people in their 80s and 90s. All these secrets and all these stories are going with them, aren't they? which is sad. So there's a lot of people here who've lived here, whose parents lived here, grandparents lived here, great-great-grandparents lived here, in the same place, like, you know, so there's a lot of sort of local connections. It's when they see a postcard, this year, they know exactly who lived there or where the place is, like, you know. I mean, I'm interested, because, I mean, I've been in Barrow 15 years, but I still don't know a lot of the places. Oh, I'll meet you at such and such, and I don't have a clue where it is, you know, so quite useful. <laughs> Please keep them because this is a heritage. I mean, my generation can remember it, but the generation coming after me and after that don't know anything about it. This interest going in, in, in Barrow, it's, it's, well, I think it's wonderful, to be quite honest, yeah. I could write a book, as I keep saying. <laughs>